Sir Arthur Keith, February 5, 1866, January 7, 1955, was a British anatomist and anthropologist, and a proponent of scientific racism. He was a fellow and later the Hunterian Professor and Conservator of the Hunterian Museum of the Royal College of Surgeons of England. He was a strong proponent of Piltdown Man, but finally conceded it to be a forgery shortly before his death. He was born at Quarry Farm near Old Mocker in Aberdeenshire, the son of John Keith, a farmer, and his wife, Jessie McPherson. He was educated at Gordon's College in Aberdeen. He obtained a Bachelor of Medicine at the University of Aberdeen in 1888. He traveled to Siam on a gold mining trip in 1889 where he gathered plants for Royal Botanic Gardens, Kew in London in his capacity as a plant collector assistant for the Botanical Survey of the Malay Peninsula. On returning to Britain in 1892, Keith studied anatomy at University College London and at the University of Aberdeen. It was at Aberdeen where Keith won the first Struthers Prize in 1893 for his demonstration of ligaments in humans and other apes. In 1894, he was made a Fellow of the Royal College of Surgeons of England. In 1908, as he says in A New Theory of Evolution, he was put in charge of the vast treasury of things housed in the Museum of the Royal College of Surgeons, which brought about a shift in his interest from anatomy to the pursuit of the machinery of human evolution. He studied primate skulls, and in 1897 he published an introduction to the study of anthropoid apes. Other works include Human Embryology and Morphology, 1902, Ancient Types of Man, 1911, The Antiquity of Man, 1915, Concerning Man's Origins, 1927, and A New Theory of Human Evolution, 1948. Keith was editor of the Journal of Anatomy between 1915 and 1936 and elected president of the Anatomical Society of Great Britain and Ireland for 1918 to 1920. He gave the 1927 presidential address, Darwin's Theory of Man's Descent as it stands today, to the British Association meeting in Leeds. The same year the University of Leeds awarded him an honorary doctorate. He was elected a Fellow of the Royal Society in 1913. He was knighted in 1921 and he published New Discoveries in 1931. In 1932, he helped found a research institute in Down, Kent, where he worked until his death. In 1899 he married Cecilia Caroline Gray, D. 1934. They had no children. He died at his home in Down, Kent on January 7, 1955.